Hello, good evening, how are you? Fine, thank you, and you, teacher? Fine. Ready, ready for another class? Yes. How many are we on now? We are 15, very good. Great. I'm going to call attendance right now. So tell me present and remember to keep your camera on. Okay. Let's see, Ana Alicia. Present. Ana Alicia. Ángel Antonio. Present. Sí. Benjamín. Benjamín Ramos. No. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Great. Daniela María. Daniela. Not here. David Alexander. Present teacher. Great. David Orlando. Present. Okay. <clears throat> Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Aide de la Paz. Present teacher. Isabel. Isabel Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Jonathan Alexis. Present. Excellent, Isabel. Jonathan Alexis. No here, Jonathan. Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio. Karen Janet. Presente, teacher. Karen. Marina Vanessa. Marina. Marlene Elizabeth. Marlene. Presente, teacher. Marlene, ok. Sí. Rosa Hilda. Present, teacher. Teresa de Jesús. Present, teacher. Sí. Walter. Walter, Judy, Judy, present teacher. Ay, déjele la comida ahorita, ya se la voy a dar yo. Gracias. Present. <coughs> Brenda Jamlet. Brenda Jamlet. Brenda, no here. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Sí, Teresa del Carmen. Present teacher. Yancy. Yancy. Yancy, Yancy. Present. <laughs> Okay, great. 
Now, let's see. I'm going to call one more time, just in case. Sure. Hi. Carlos Ernesto, presente. Okay, right now, Carlos. Let's see. Ana Alicia, no here yet? Presente. Ana Alicia, okay. I'm going in the reprise. Benjamin. Benjamin, no here. Carlos Ernesto. <clears throat> Carlos Ernesto. Presente. Okay, perfect. Daniela María. Jonathan Alexis. Jonathan Alexis. No. Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio. Marina. Marina here. Walter. In the sea. <laughs> this in the ocean. Brenda okay. Yamilet. Brenda Yamilet. Right here. Okay. Well, I guess the others are not here yet. Okay, nice. Well. How are you? Just let me close the door. My daughter has just finished a parcel and she's like very excited. <laughs> so I better get between the four or close on the door. Okay. Well, nice, nice. Remember yesterday we were talking. Let me check. Yeah, there it is. Yesterday we were talking about mission and vision. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay. We will make a mini review, right? And I'm going to listen to a couple of you sharing the mission and vision of your company that you were writing about yesterday. And then we will continue with the topic for today. Okay, just okay. refreshing. What's a mission and what's a vision? Who can tell me what's a vision statement? It's that focuses on tomorrow and what an organization wants to ultimately become. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, I don't have vision <laughs> on my on my work on my organization. <laughs> okay, so you don't have vision. Yeah, some of you told me you don't have a vision. Probably. But I don't okay. remember. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Probably you don't know, but I don't think. I don't, I don't remember, know. but my <laughs> boss, my boss probably have a definition for this. Mm -hmm. Probably your boss knows what's the definition, what's the mission. Anna, is there a mission? An ambition for the company? Uh, I can excuse me to me or or Luis Mauricio. No, just tell me. Is there a vision and mission in the company? Yes, yes, we have. Uh, uh, make Luis to memorize it. <laughs> I can read it, not memorize. Yeah, no, of course I know. Okay, what is the mission? What is? Well, the I'm gonna read it. Okay. If no, you can paraphrase it, right? You can. Well, 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 um, 
I'm taking here about us. See more history mission. How our school fosters personal development through a quality personalized education model, which develop well-rounded citizens that perform with resil ¿Cómo se dice? Resil resilience. Resilience. Values and commitment. Okay. That's the mission. Mm -hmm. And the vision is our bilingual school develops compete, com, I don't know how to say competent, and responsible citizens with the abilities to create a positive impact on the world and themselves. Okay, very good. You are a teacher, right? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, sure. In the in the part of, of the the platform, I already added the post over there. And remember, I told you this time you will find the post easier because you will find it after the video. So you have the video of the class, and then after the video of the class, you will have <clears throat> sorry you will have the discussion question. And the discussion question that you have over there is this. It's remember the last thing you were working yesterday, choose a company and write a mission and vision for it. Yeah, you follow the example here. I'm sharing with you this, uh, that's Tesla's mission and vision. The mission of Tesla is to create the most compelling car company of the 21st century by driving the world's transition to electric vehicles, right? Going from the normal car that we know to an electric car. So that's Tesla's mission. And the vision is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Remember nowadays we are all talking about being green, about being uh, worried about the global warming and everything. So, well, Tesla goes in that direction, right? To accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Okay, so what you're going to do, it's not that you're going to do it right now, right? That you can do it uh, later on at the end of the class, you're going to write a mission and a vision there. Okay. You can put in the in the in that space the mission and vision or of your company or the mission and vision that you created with your partners yesterday. Remember that yesterday you created a mission and vision. Do you remember? Yes, right? Yes. Okay, so that mission and vision is the one that you will put there. Okay, well, today we are talking about the organization. How is your company organized? Can you tell me what is an organization chart? What's an organization chart? Any idea? Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you to the rooms. You will go there for five minutes to discuss with your partner these three questions. One, what is an organization chart? The other one, why are organization charts important for business? Are you familiar? with the organization chart of your company. Hmm? And you will tell me, yeah, no one ever did. I just know who's the principal, but I don't know who are the rest of the people. Or probably, yes, you know, kind of, you don't have to be very exact, right? And here, don't worry about drawing your organization chart just no, yeah, 
We are going to do that later. So what you're going to do now is just discuss these questions. I'm going to share, let me, well, they are in the manual, right? So you can find these questions in your manual. Let me tell you. Page number, yeah. Page number 13, yes. Page number 13. But anyway, I'm going to share the questions with you. So what is an organization chart? Why are organization charts important for business? And then you discuss if you are familiar with the organization chart of your company. Okay, any question? No question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop sharing. Let me stop. And I'm going to send it to the rooms. I'm going to paste the questions here. Check questions in the chat. And I'm going to make groups of three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just one pair. Ready? Ready for discussing the questions? Yes. Yes, ready. Okay, remember, give your own answers, give your own opinions, right? If you are not familiar, I say no, I just know a couple of people. So don't worry about not knowing that organization chart. Share the names or the information that you, that you know, right? Okay. Okay, try to join the rooms. Great, great. Teresa and Benjamin is the CEO here. Try to join the rooms, Benjamin. Hola. Try to join the rooms. I'm calling you to the small room. Unanse a los grupos pequeños a los que los estoy llamando. Daniela, Jansi. Aparece en la opción de Lumina. Daniel, muy bien. Ya se fue Jansi. Está. Checking, lo estoy mandando a otro room. Daniela and Benjamin. Daniela. Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Discuss the questions with your partner. Yes. Buenas, teacher. Hi. How are you, Edwin? Fine, teacher. Okay. Bye. La primera pregunta es. A salir aquí, creo que la what tengo. is an organization? Uh -huh. What, what is, is an organization? An organization yeah. chart. What is organization a... chart. Mm -hmm. What is an organization chart? Ahí lo mandaron al grupo también. Ahí lo mandó el grupo, Betich. Sí. And they assume. 
Se lo mandé a su sí. Ah, ¿quién lo mandó? Rosy lo mandó. <ríe> mi jefa. <ríe> hoy es mi jefa. <ríe> ah, ok, hoy no es Ricardo. Bueno, es Ricardo, hoy, hoy, hoy es la otra jefa. <ríe> Ok, entonces, eh, a ver, the organization chart. Ok, my, in my organization. Eh, what is, okay. primero, what is an organization chart? Mm -hmm. Organization chart. Es okay. un organigrama, voy a mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly, exactly. It's like a uh, this. <laughs> ¿Por qué es importante? Uh, Delvis, ¿por qué piensa que es importante? En el caso de um, Jairo. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Ahorita. Uh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Ahorita okay. les tengo discutiendo las preguntas. Ah. Las preguntas que les puse ahí en el, en el chat de, de Zoom y también Rosy se las compartió al grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. The questions are, what is an organization chart? Why are organization charts important for business? Are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? Esas son las preguntas que van a discutir. Después vamos a hacer la conversación, pero todavía no. Está bien dicho. Ok. Entonces, what is... Uh, this graph, graphic representation of the structure of a company or an, or an institution. Teacher... Eh, entiendo un cierto porcentaje de, lo, de las indicaciones eh, en este caso sería responder las preguntas ¿verdad? No, solamente eso okay. con sus propias palabras pueden hacerlo ¿verdad? ok ok bueno, este... bien, bien. ok en este caso Oh, I think that and definition graphic representation of a structure of a company. Sería de de to represent the orga, organization hierarchy, la jerarquía. Mm, también. Yes. The organization hierarchy of the company. The is organization if I to represent the organization hierarchy of the growth allow leadership to more effect, effectively manage growth or change. I don't know how, what it's the meaning or growth or change. Another is allow employees to better understand how they work fits into the organization's overall scheme. Entiendo que, que entonces hace que los empleados entiendan mejor cómo ellos encajan en la organización y en todo el esquema de la misma. Okay. Hello, employees. Employees to better understand how their work fit fits into the organization supervisor los supervisores y y los y en, en un dado caso los vendedores bien Hola, teacher. Hello. Estamos aquí en plena discusión. Eso, sí, mi niño. ¿Verdad que necesita que le expliquemos? Eh, bueno, de antemano yo entiendo poquito el inglés. Okay, <ríe> Entonces, lo que entendí, 
usted necesita que le eh, expresemos qué es un organigrama, cómo está conformado un organigrama y si nosotros dentro de la empresa donde trabajamos tenemos organigrama. Exacto. Si ustedes no. lo conocen. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Porque sí, toda empresa tiene que tener, pero ¿y lo conocen ustedes? ¿Están familiarizados con él? Mm, ah. Igual que la misión y visión de mi empresa. <risa> no <hay. risa> mi empresa no hay. <risa> Yes, sometimes estamos mal. Estamos mal. <risa> Ay, no. pero, pero tal vez entre estos dos no. chicos vamos a sacar mm -hmm. una idea. But, but I guess there you have a better idea at least of the people who you have more relation with, right? Con okay. quién trabaja más, son los que ustedes como que conocen un poquito más. <risa> Yo solo conozco a los directivos nada más, porque son, <risa> ellos son mis jefes. Ah, okay. y ahí se me... ah, vaya, entonces ahí está, ya empezamos con los directivos. <risa> Eso es lo que les estaba diciendo de ellos, que yo solo conozco, que es la presidenta, el vicepresidente, el tesorero, el secretario y, lo, y los vocales, dependiendo cuántos vocales quieran tener. Ahí está. Ahí está. Y, y, y es una, si es una empresa de, de ventas, sería como el gerente de tienda, el supervisor de, de personal y en un dado caso los vendedores. Uh -huh. Hasta ahí creería yo que llega el organigrama. Sí, 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 exacto. exacto. Okay. Bueno, vamos a armar aquí con estos oh, niños. Bien, a ver qué hacemos. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Entonces, eh, Marlene, ¿usted en qué trabaja? Primero Picos. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Hello. ¿Cómo vamos? Ahí, ahí estamos tratando de, de armar un concepto. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Yeah, remember to use, to use your own words, right? You can use your own words, no problem. Ok. Uh, in this moment, the, the concept is, is a, a generic one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can give a generic one. No exactly about your company. Por lo menos las primeras dos, ¿verdad? Well, exactly. Huh? And, the, and the third, uh, can I can the answer the yes or no? The answer, the short answer? Mm -hmm. oh, you need a, you a, can, uh, tell me not only yes or no, but are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? Yes, I know. Pueden mencionar qué es lo que conoce. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, the categories, for, for example, the categories. Uh -huh. who, are the, who are the people? in the organization chart. Okay. The puesto, no sé cómo se dice. The what? The puestos. The positions. The positions. Mm -hmm. the, positions. The, uh, the, the name, the position. Okay. Uh -huh. So you have an example there in the, in the chart, right? So you have, for example, the floor manager, the safety engineer, the maintenance chief. Okay. Pero depende de la compañía, cada compañía sí, sí. tiene un organigrama diferente, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh, in my case, it's a, the Department of Logistics is then uh, the chart is different at the, at the, the empresa. <laughs> exactly. Every, depending on the type of company, the departments will will vary. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, I will call you in okay, one minute. Okay. Great. Hi, Danny. 
Yanına. Coming, coming. Hello, teacher. Hello. Coming, everybody. Just 10 seconds. And everybody has to come back. Hoy si nos agarro con preguntas de, de, de bachillerato, teacher. Nosotros <laughs> estamos en kinder. Sorry, sorry. Yes. Es que ya van llegando a bachillerato. Ya casi. Ya casi, ya casi. Vamos a ver. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Ya volvieron todos. Muy bien. A ver, who can tell me what is an organization chart? Uh -huh. What is an organization chart? Can I say, teacher? Sure. Sure. In the group, uh, we say the organization chart, it is a diagram, diagram to represent the organization hierarchical of the company. Perfect, perfect. And you have an example here, right? You have a floor manager, a safety engineer, maintenance chief, supervisor, maintenance personnel that depends on the maintenance chief. Then you have a supervisor that depends on the safety engineer and the machine operators, the assemblers, the truck drivers, all depending on the supervisor, okay? Why are organization charts important? Ah, y ya saben que no siempre se dan así de forma ¿qué? horizontal es esta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. A veces se dan así. Vertical. Ok, a veces se dan de esta forma, donde todos se ven iguales, right? Y otras veces se dan así, donde hay uno que está más arriba y es al que le tenemos que rendir cuentas todos los demás. Okay, ese es como el, quizá el más común en nuestras empresas salvadoreñas. Ok, vamos a ver la otra. Are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? Yes, no, a little, a lot. A ver. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Can I... Can I tell it? Can I say it? Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, first, uh, the non principal. Uh -huh. uh, non is. Non. 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 Non principal. Then the okay. academic principal. Uh, afterwards, uh, the teachers. Mm -hmm. Then a uh, secretary, and the last one, uh, the concierge. Okay. All that thing. Mm -hmm. The maintenance department, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like that. It, it is too easy. Okay. Good, good. Aha, uh -huh. what about the others? Do you all know the, the, the organization chart of your company? Are you familiarized with this? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. Well, later on, you will be sharing that organization chart, okay, with the rest of your family. Now, let's move here. We are going to go to the conversation, go to your manual, page 13. We are going to practice the conversation. And repeat after me. Hi, Roxana. 
Hi, Roxana. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. Welcome to Rex. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. My name, My name is, is Jessica. Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. I'm the industrial safety engineer. 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 Near. Near. Engineer. Repeat. Engineer. 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 Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Thanks Jessica. Jessica. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping safety of the plant. My, My department, department is responsible, responsible for keeping this, the safety of the, the plan. I see. I see. I see. I will be part of the maintenance department. I'll be part of the maintenance. I'll be part of the maintenance. 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 Department. Department. I'll be part of the maintenance department. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Will I be responsible to you? To you? Great. Great. Our departments work together. Our departments work together. Our departments work together. Work together. But the maintenance chief, but the maintenance chief, chief is in charge of directing your department. Is in charge of directing of your department. Your department. You'll be responsible to him. You'll be responsible, responsible to him. him. Thank you, Jessica. Thank, Thank you, Jessica. Jessica. May I call you if I need help? May, May I call, call you if I need, if I need help? help? May I call you if I need help? May I call you if I need help? May I call you if I need help? Sure. 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 Okay, one more time. Hi, Roxana. Hi, Roxana. Hi, Roxana. Hi, Roxana. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Welcome, Welcome to Rex. Welcome to Rex. Rex. My name is My Jessica. Jessica. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. Welcome to Rex. Welcome to Rex. My, My name, name is Jessica. Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. I'm, I'm the industrial, industrial safety engineer. engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Thanks, Jessica. Nice, Jessica. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. My, My department, department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. The plant. I, see. I see. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. I'll be I'll part of, of the maintenance, maintenance department. department. Will I be responsible to you? Will I be responsible, I be responsible to you? To you? To you? Okay. Great. Our departments work together. Great. Great. Our, Our departments, departments work, work together. together. But the maintenance department, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. But the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. Your department. Your department. You'll be responsible to him. You'll be yes, responsible for the Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? May I call you if I need help? Sure. 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 Okay, I want you to review or to repeat this. Engineer. 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 Responsible. 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 Safety. 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 Maintenance. 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 
Maintenance. Maintenance. Together. 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 In charge. In charge. In charge. In charge. In charge. Okay, I don't know if you have any question with any other word related to pronunciation. No? Main. 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 Now look at this. Uh, <laughs> What's happening? Okay. Check. I want to call your attention to this because that's the structure that we are going to be using later, right? Okay. So you have responsible for, responsible to, responsible for, and responsible to. What is the difference? Who can tell me what's the difference between being responsible for, for, or responsible to? Hmm? Question. No idea? No. Okay, if I'm responsible for, I'm going to be responsible for something. I'm responsible for something. Yes. I'm responsible for cleaning the area. I'm responsible for teaching English class. I'm responsible for answering the phone. I'm responsible for attending clients. I'm responsible for checking the emails. Okay, so all the things that you do in your workplace, you can say I'm responsible for this, okay? But you are responsible to someone. Yes. I'm responsible to my supervisor. Mm -hmm. So I respond to him or I respond to her. As you can see here, right? You'll be responsible. Bien. ¿A quién le va a responder? ¿A quién le va a rendir cuentas? ¿A quién se va a reportar? Right? That's responsible to. You are responsible to somebody. But when we say you are responsible for, that means for all the things that your contract says that you have to do. Ahí su contrato es bien específico con las responsabilidades que usted tiene que hacer. Entonces usted dice, I am responsible for this, 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 and this. Okay. Any question here? No. Check it. Que después de, de la preposition for vamos a usar ing I'm responsible for keeping I'm responsible for answering the phone I'm responsible for checking the emails I'm responsible for answering emails I'm responsible for contacting clients si sí, esto va a ir en ing I'm responsible for doing this and this. Any questions? Questions? No. Okay. Now, you're going to go uh, to the rooms again. I'm going to change partners. And in this case, you're going to go practice the communication. Okay? You ready? Yes. What are we going to do? Excuse me? We're going to practice. Okay. One is going to be Jessica, and the other one is going to be Roxana. Okay? Uh, this conversation is in your manual. 
I'm going to show you. It's on your manual, page 13. First, practice the conversation with your partner. Then I'm going to change your partner. Le voy a dejar unos cuatro minutos quizá para que practiquen y cambien, cuatro o cinco, que practiquen y cambien de roles. ¿Verdad? O sea, uno es Jessica, el otro Roxana, pues cambian y que la Roxana va a ser Jessica y viceversa. Después, cuando los vuelva a cambiar, van a responder estas preguntas sobre la conversación. ¿Okay? Pero primero los voy, eh, se van a quedar solo practicando la conversación. Cuando vean que les cambio el compañero, van a pasar a hacer la actividad. Ok. Ok. Ahí rapidito cuando vean que los mando a los rooms, déjese ir, ¿verdad? Déjese ir. Va, allá vamos. Questions. Todos están ya en el manual. Page 13. Yes. Ahí se los compartí de nuevo en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Perfecto. Let's go. A ver, veo a Grace, a Isabel y Marlene todavía por aquí. Nice. Jessica, Roxana, who wants to be? You wants to be Jessica. Yes. Hey. Hi. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Espérame que se me apaga. A ver. Escaba. Vaya, entonces, Carolina, ¿quién? Primero. Si gusta, empieza y después cambiamos rol. Ok. okay. Entonces, Jessica y Roxana. Bueno. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety. Es así me cuesta, engineer. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible. Es así me olvida también. Responsible. Responsible. Así es. Responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. All departments work together, but the maintenance and shift is in chair, chair of direct, directing your department. You be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you? If I need help? Sure. Quiero buscar esas dos palabras porque no deja, ¿verdad? Sí, igual a mí me cuesta la pronunciación. Si alguna siento que se traba la lengua. ¿Cuál es? La que dice responsible. Respons responsible. Responsible. Como con I, Riz. Responsible. Ajá. Como con I allí y con A donde está la I. Responsible. Responsible. 
Okay, la otra. Safe, safe, uh -huh. safe, safe, ¿cómo es? Safe? Safe, safety, the safety safe. department. Mm -hmm. Safety department. Safe. Safety. Uh -huh. safety. Safety. Safety department. Maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance es otra. Maintenance, como que el T no suena, ¿verdad? Maintenance. Mm. Mm. Is she, she, is she, or is she, 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 is in charge of directing. Like the charge of the man, of the direct, directing. Mm -hmm. Teacher, like the staff for the man, maintenance. Chief. Mainland chief. 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 The maintenance chief. Solo estas, creo yo. Son con las que más se nos llevaba la lengua. <risa> es cierto. Vaya, hoy cambiamos entonces, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Ok, empieza usted. Ok. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the ah. industrial. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am an industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the main Mains, department, maintenance department will I be responsible to you? Great. Okay. Charge. Maintenance. Of directing. Directing? Perdón? Directing. Rating. Esta, esta que dice main, maintenance. Main. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Maintenance. 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 Eh, la otra, ¿cuál era, Yuri? En charge. Eh, charge, algo así. Charge. In charge. 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 No, la de sa safety. Safety. The safety. Safety. Safety engineer, ¿verdad? Safety engineer. The safety ¿Perdón? Engineer. Engineer. Safety. Ok. Ok, veamos. Disculpame. You will be responsible. Response. Ok. ¿Quiere le damos la, la siguiente otra vez? Ok, está bien. Yo empiezo yo. Va. ¿Empieza usted? Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Red. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the severity of the plant. I see. I will be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? The or department work to her, but the main chief is chair 
of the direction, your department, you will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay. Hello, teacher. Yeah. Hello, hello. I'm going to say, I'm going to start changing. Well, I'm going to change your classmates. Okay. Okay, when everybody comes, I will change you partners and I'm going to send you back. Okay, I'm going to send you back for you to answer the questions. You just practice the conversation one more time quickly and then you will answer the questions. See? Hmm. Let me see, one partner has disappeared. Okay, there we go. Okay, there you go. Hopefully with a different partner. The attendance teacher. Yes, thank you, thank you. And I thought about that when I call you, I'm going to call attendance. <laughs> Better before. Thank you, Angel. Mm -hmm. As a good teacher, you remember. Thank you, thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia. Present. Present. Angel. Present. Benjamin. Present, teacher. Nice. Carlos Ernesto. Present, teacher. Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Daniela, Maria. Present teacher. Okay. Quiero ver quién es Daniela. Ah, muy bien. Son los que no conozco. Hasta hoy vine, perdón. Se me olvidó la clase de lunes. Ay, es verdad, como era feriado ayer, dije, ah, el miércoles. Pero qué bueno que hoy sí está aquí. Daniel Alexander. Daniel Alexander. No, David, David. Alexander. Interesante, sí. Está cambiando el nombre, David Alexander. Sí, ya está cambiando el nombre. Y ni por qué Rodríguez, igual que yo. Ya ve, ya ve. Edwin Orlando. Present teacher. Okay. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Nice. Aide de la Paz. Aide. Present teacher. Excellent. Isabel. Isabel. Present teacher. Okay, Jonathan Alexis. Jonathan. Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio. Karen. Presente, teacher. Okay. Marina Vanessa. Marina. Marina, Marina, no. Marlene Elizabeth. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Teresa. Present teacher. 
Walter Orlando. Teresa de Jesús, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. <ríe> ok, Walter Orlando. Que hoy tengo dos Teresas. Walter Orlando. Walter, no here. Yuri. Yuri, Yuri. Yuri se nos perdió. Present teacher. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Escondida. Según yo siempre tengo encendido el micrófono y hablo y hablo y no me fijo que el micrófono está ahí. Sí, qué barbaridad. Madre. Apagada, pero aquí estoy. Va, excelente, excelente. Aristides. Present. Great. Brenda Jamilet. Brenda. Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio, Teresa Carmen, Carmen Mauricio, ahí está, que se me esconde, Teresa del Carmen, Yancy Catalina, present, okay, very good. Ok, bueno, vamos. I'm going to send you to the room again. Remember, this time, read the conversation quickly with your partner and answer the question. Ok, there you go. Isabel me quedó solo. Ya le mandé compañeros. Vaya Benjamín, vea si se logra unir. Benjamín e Isabel me han quedado aquí, ¿no? tocaba los dos del mismo grupo. Okay. Ahora vamos a responder las preguntas, ¿verdad, Sí, exacto. Si quieren, se quedan aquí. Yo voy a ir a dar vueltas. De todos modos, ustedes dos iban juntos. Así es que ya que no pudieron unirse ya, se quedan trabajando acá. ¿Ok? O sea, no nos no, no movimos entonces. No se movieron, fíjense, se quedaron en el grupo grande. Los sí, dos. Hoy me tocó pesado el trabajo, por eso es que anda cansado. Anda cansado, no, no quiere moverse en los grupos chicos. <risa> <risa> pues es que trabajen con Benjamín, porque aquí se quedó Benjamín, también anda cansado, ¿eh? Sin, sin movernos. O oh, no escucha, dice Benjamín. No, no listen. Vamos a gritarle entonces. Answer the questions, Benjamín. You will answer the questions. Vaya, yo voy a ir a dar una vuelta en lo que ustedes dos trabajan acá. Sería... Roxana. De contestar, podría contestar, no, tampoco. No, no. Yes, in nice to meet you, dice, I be sent. Roxana. Eh, dice, I see, I be part of maintenance department. O sea, sería, Roxana is responsible of maintenance. Del departamento de mantenimiento. Ajá, correcto. Ajá. Ahí sería, Roxana. A ver. Roxanne is a 
O sea, lo que yo entiendo es que ella va a ser la floor manager, no es la, la maintenance chief. Oiga la, resp la respuesta, le dice, yes, great, yes. our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. Esa es como la explicación, le dice, you'll be responsible. Profesión, digamos. Sí, la profesión, pero, de... oh, teacher, Hi. Eh, help us, or help me. Eh, in the first question, it is who is responsible for. So, eh, in the organization chart, it says that a safety engineer, but Jessica, she is a safety engineer. So, can I answer by Jessica or a safety engineer? Who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? A, a safety engineer According or Jessica? To... Hmm. A safety engineer. Is Jessica the safety engineer? Yeah, you can say Jessica. Yes, she, she is a safety ah, engineer. She is a safety engineer. Yeah, you can say, well, Jessica is in charge of, or charge. the safety engineer is in charge of the personnel in the plant. Okay, it confuses me because in the conversation, uh, it doesn't mention that Jessica is, uh, is in charge. In the conversation, it doesn't say that Jessica is in charge. But she, she, only, she only say that it is a safety engineer. She's no, she's the. The industrial. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. So uh, if we if we see the organization short. Safety engineer is in okay. charge of. Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. I get it. Solo hay uno, verdad? Okay, mm -hmm. so it's gonna be Jessica. And what about the second one? Who uh, is in charge of she directing? She also that her department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. Her department, pero ella es. The engineer. So, esta palabra de es la que nos da ahí toda la clue. Que dice the industrial. Yeah. Okay. And what about the second question? Who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? Uh, it only say that the maintenance chief. Mm -hmm. The maintenance chief. Okay. And the other one, it is the main and shift too. What's the next question? Who is Roxana responsible to? Uh huh. Exactly. She's responsible to the main and shift. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This organization all. Who are the safety managers? The safety, the safety engineer and the maintenance chief is responsible to the floor manager. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna answer it just like that. Mm -hmm. uh, who is Roxana responsible to? The maintenance chief. No, give me complete answer. She's responsible okay. to okay. the maintenance okay. chief. Okay. acostumbrando también a la estructura. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Bueno, 
vamos, Ángel? Estamos en la última pregunta, tratando de entenderla con Marlene, estamos pensando. Aquí dice, look your... Ah, teacher. Este, tenemos deshabilitado otra vez el compartir pantalla. Ay, no le creo. Sí. Y se me olvidó decirle antes de pasar a la a los grupos. Ya se lo dejé. No sabe qué pasó en la nueva formación. Que sí. Que va a Look at the organization chart above. Who are the safety engineer and the maintenance chief responsible to? It's a floor manager, ¿verdad? Es como... ¿Quién está? Engineer and the maintenance chief responsible to, to the floor manager. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, they are responsible to the floor manager. Yes. Pero me costó entender el, el, la interpretación o interpretar la pregunta. Ah, es que uno es responsable for, eh, ¿cuáles son sus responsabilidades? Y el otro um, es responsible to. Me acordé por eso que dijo Cabal, ahorita usted responsible uh -huh. to is a someone. ¿A quién le tiene que responder? Uh -huh. Porque siempre todos tenemos que responderle a alguien. Exacto. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ¿a quién? Exacto. Pero sí, me, me costó interpretar la, la pregunta. Pero Thank sí. you, teacher. Sí, de no ve, teacher, es que estamos, este nos está tirando preguntas de bachillerato. So, es que ya van más, ya están más grandes. <risa> <risa> sí, no, ya entre más va subiendo esta cosa, es más pesadito. Estamos llegando donde asustan. Ya casi. Ah. <risa> ya casi, ya casi. <risa> Ok, ya, nosotros lleguen, ya terminamos entonces. Cuando lleguen donde asustan ya no se van a asustar ustedes. Ya no nos vamos a asustar mucho. Ya, ya lo voy a ver asustado bastante. <risa> <risa> bueno, me los llevo ya entonces. Ok. Ok, ¿cómo vamos? Did you finish? Yes. No, no, solo yo estaba aquí y que Benjamín tuvo problemas y se me desconectó. Se me perdió Benjamín, que eso vi yo que de repente estaba en sí. de nuevo. Está lloviendo Benjamín. Está lloviendo. Cuando está lloviendo a veces se complica. Ya casi todos vienen. Ok. Karen is missing. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Bye. Muy bien. I'm going to share the screen again. Let's see the questions. Who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? Jessica. De... Yes. The maintenance department. Ajá. Uh -huh. The maintenance department. For keeping the safety. Who keeps the safety? Jessica, the engineer. Engineer, exactly. You can say Jessica is responsible for keeping the safety. Of the person. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, who is in charge of directing the maintenance? Who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? The maintenance chief is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel. Yes, the maintenance. maintenance. Chief. Is in charge of directing the maintenance. What is personnel? What el, is pers el personal, los empleados. The uh -huh. people, right? All the people who work in a, in a place, that's the personnel. Okay. Who is Roxana? Who is Roxana responsible to? She is responsible to the maintenance chief. Que me pongo una letra. Oh. Just an N. Y una E también. <laughs> ok, vamos a ver. Roxana is responsible to the maintenance. Chief. Uh -huh. The maintenance. Ok. Now, the last question. Who are the safety engineer and the maintenance chief responsible to? They are responsible to the floor manager. Mm -hmm. They are responsible to the floor manager. Recuerden, una cosa es responsible to y otra es responsible for. Sí, responsible for, ¿cuáles son sus responsabilidades? Y responsible to, ¿a quién le responde? ¿Ok? O ¿a quién le da cuenta? ¿A quién es jefe? ¿Verdad? En otras palabras. Ok. Oops. Let's go back. I don't know if you have any question there. No question. ¿Mm? No, no question. <clears throat> Ahora, vamos de nuevo a responsible to and responsible for. Pero quiero que vean una cosa acá que, que vimos también dentro de la conversación. Y es que son estas frases. Right? Cuando usamos prepositions, cuando nosotros usamos una preposition, en una oración, no importa si la preposición va siguiendo un adjetivo, un verbo, un noun, o si está sola, pero después de una preposición, siempre vamos a usar el verbo en ing. Ok? So, you see, you use a verb plus S o plus ing. Help me complete it. Let it copy. Mm -hmm. Use a verb plus. Plus S or plus ING. Okay. Plus ING. Plus ING, exactly. Les he estado dando copia desde el principio de la clase. ¿verdad? Vaya, use the verb, a verb plus ing after prepositions like for or of. So you have a preposition for, of. Por ejemplo, cuando dice be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa be accountable? What does it mean to be accountable? 
like accountable is like responsible, pero tan responsible que, que oh, yo sé que usted lo va a hacer porque es lo que le corresponde y lo hace, pero súper bien. Usted es mucho más que responsable. Right? That's a contract. Una persona que cumple con lo que le corresponde hacer, pero de una manera eh, completa, que le tengan que estar re recordando. Right? And you have here committed to, dedicated to. Entonces, después de una preposición, si se fijan, tenemos responsible, que es? Es un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Responsible. So you say, I'm responsible for eh, making the calls. I'm responsible for answering the phone. I'm responsible for checking the emails or attending clients. See, I'm responsible for. I'm in charge, y aquí dice be, pero cuando usted lo ocupa o lo conjuga, va a decir, I am in charge of, I'm in charge of checking the emails. I'm in charge of answering the calls. I'm in charge of, allí puede usar un noun, por ejemplo, si dice, I'm in charge of the chief department, it's okay pero I'm in charge of eh, taking care of the maintenance, por ejemplo. Se va a usar un verbo. Este verbo tiene que ir en ING. Be accountable for. She is accountable for eh, ¿qué? assisting clients, visiting clients. She's accountable for writing the reports every week. See, after four, the same. I use the verb with ing. She's committed to calling the clients early in the morning. She's dedicated to writing emails. But she's dedicated to, aquí está dedicada, right? Then after these prepositions, I'm going to use ing. And check here, we have something else. To say who, you respond to. To say who you respond to, use be responsible to or be accountable to. A quien le doy cuentas. To talk about your responsibility, use be responsible for. So remember what we have been talking, right? I'm responsible for opening the store. See, I'm responsible for opening the store. That means that I will open the store. I'm in charge of opening the store. I'm accountable for opening the store. See, but I am responsible to the supervisor. I am accountable to the supervisor. Aquí le voy a dar cuenta si no abrí la puerta a tiempo. Si se hicieron las siete y no había llave para abrir porque la olvidé en mi casa. ¿A quién le doy cuenta? Uh -huh. I'm responsible to the supervisor. Y es el que me va a pedir cuentas. Right? Any question here? Yes, no. No? Okay, now check. In this part, I have another uh, couple of examples for you. For example, the preposition after, after having a shower, I went to bed. After having a shower. Or after taking a shower, I went to bed. Before, I have breakfast before leaving for work. I have breakfast before leaving. No puedo decir before to leave o before leave. Tengo que usar el verbo en ING. I passed by starting every evening for a month. You cannot make an omelet without breaking eggs, without breaking. See? Entonces, siempre, después de una preposición, 
vamos a usar el verbo en ING. Y recuerden que no importa si antes de la preposición yo tenía un noun, o si tenía un adjetivo, o si tenía un verbo, un noun, no importa, ¿verdad? No importa qué es lo que yo tengo antes de la, de la preposición, pero si yo voy a usar una preposición, después de preposición, ocupo un verbo en ING. ¿Ok? ¿Questions over there? ¿Questions? ¿No questions? ¿Cómo no todo? <laughs> ¿Cuáles son las preposiciones que conocen for, to, about, before, after? Entonces, donde quiera que usted vea una preposición, usted está haciendo una oración y después de la preposición tiene que usar un verbo, este verbo va a ir con ing. ¿Verdad? Eso recuerde. Porque es uno de los errores más comunes. For example, if you say, she's afraid of dogs. Okay. But she's afraid of being bitten by a dog. Or she's afraid of speaking in public. Vamos a, afraid es, es un, es un adjective, ¿verdad? Pero decimos, she's afraid of speaking in public. Entonces, después, de la preposición of voy a usar ING. Uh -huh. Tengo un par de ejercicios para ustedes. Vamos a ver, ya le di copia con la red. Ok. Let's see if we can complete the sentences. Recuerden que el verbo debe ir en ING form. So you say, I'm afraid. To lose in my smartphone. Afraid to? Are you sure? To lose in. Les acabo de dar copia. ¿Cuál es la preposición que va con afraid? Afraid to. Mm, are you sure? Afraid. Oh. Four, 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 four. Afraid of. Yeah, we are afraid. Afraid of. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm losing. losing. Sí. I'm afraid of losing my smartphone. Very good. Aha, uh -huh. she's looking forward. ¿Qué preposición va con forward? She's looking forward to 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 qué? Seeing, seeing her brother. Mm -hmm. She's looking forward to seeing her brother. He's responsible. ¿Qué preposición sigue a responsible? For collecting the money. Ajá, en este caso for, ¿verdad? Podemos usar con responsible, podemos usar for y to. Pero for something and to someone, right? He's responsible for collecting. He's responsible for collecting money. Mm -hmm. A ver, he apologized. For being late. For being, okay. for being, being a late. Uh -huh. For being late. He apologized for being late. Mm -hmm. I don't know the words. No. Larry never worries. About making friends. About making friends. He doesn't worry about it. Okay. We are tired of 
Of waiting. Uh -huh, exactly. Of waiting. We're tired of waiting. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the last one, she insisted to talk. On. And talking. Talking. She insisted on talking. Mm -hmm. She insisted on talking to her lawyer. Okay, repeat after me. I'm afraid of losing my smartphone. I'm afraid of losing my smartphone. I'm afraid of losing my smartphone. I am afraid of losing my smartphone. She's looking forward to seeing her brother. 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 He's responsible for collecting the money. He is responsible, responsible for, for collecting, collecting the, the money. money. He apologized for being late. He apologized, he apologized for, for being late. We are worried about making money. I'm about making friends. Larry never, Larry never making friends. Larry never worry about making friends. We are tired of waiting for the bus. We are tired of waiting for the bus. She insisted on talking to her lawyer. She insisted on talking to her lawyer. She insisted on talking to her lawyer. Okay, good. Any questions? No question. No questions. Que aprendimos que después de preposiciones usamos el verbo en año. En ella. Ok, now look at this. Tell me about you. What are you responsible for? Who are you responsible to? Mm -hmm. And then you can tell me, I'm responsible for y lo que usted tiene que hacer, ¿sí? I am responsible to, y can, con quién, a quién le es responsable o a quién le tiene que entregar cuentas. ¿Ok? Questions? I'm responsible for my students and I'm responsible to my preschool coordinator. Okay, great, great. Great. Uh -huh. Can I have another couple of volunteers? Yes, I'm responsible for attending the pharmacies and I'm responsible to Rosie. Okay, good. Thank you, Luis. That is my boss. <laughs> okay, let's listen to Judy. Tell me, Judy. I am responsible for um I am responsible to um coordinator. Okay, good. Judy choose a victim. Oh, I <laughs> know, vaya, veamos. Um, uh, Aristides. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I am responsible for teaching class and keeping the grade system and I am responsible to the non-principal. Okay, good, good, good. One more, Aristides. Um, I'm gonna pick Teresa del Carmen. 
Teresa. She's a little quiet today. Yeah. Teresa, hello. I am responsible for um, the planning. I, planning. La, planning. 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 Uh, didactic. Um, director, verdad? You are responsible to the principal. Uh huh, to the principal. Okay. Um, I am responsible to 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 <laughs> um the um, the class virtual and um, today. You are responsible to to. The class, the class, um, a los alumnos, como se dice? To teach, to teach uh -huh. a class to, to teach. Students. Uh huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. You're teaching virtually, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, great. Ya vamos a volver a esto hoy. Ahorita vamos a trabajar esto, vamos a ver. Vean el, el, el organigrama. Check it. You have here the general manager, then you have an auditor, quality control inspector, your manager, a financial department, the computer department, sales department, the safety engineer, a maintenance chief, a supervisor, a maintenance personnel, Right, the maintenance personnel is responsible to the maintenance chief. And you have the machine operators, the assemblers, and the truckers. This is total big chart, right? So what you're going to do here is to complete the sentences. Who is responsible for? And you complete the sentence using the verb in the ING form, okay? Who is responsible for? Can you tell me number one? Allá estamos en el manual. Go to your manual. Yo sé lo que he puesto así porque si no, yo no puedo ver las dos cosas. Pero en su manual, en la página 14, Ahí usted puede ver las preguntas. Who is responsible for the machine operators? Then let's make the questions first. Los voy a mandar a los, a los grupitos así rapidito. A ver, a ver. Los voy a mandar a los, a, al mismo grupo donde estaban, los voy a mandar. Así rapidito. Uy, Teresa está solita. ¿Quién más está solita? Pues no. Lo voy a volver a hacer. Bueno, vamos a hacer unos grupos más grandes. Este, ¿Qué van a hacer? Van a completar las preguntas con el verbo en la forma correcta. Y después van a ver el organigrama y van a contestar las preguntas. ¿Ok? Ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Goodbye, teacher. <laughs> Goodbye, teacher. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Chequen si se logran unir. So we were talking about our teacher. <laughs> nah, we just met. Uh, so we are gonna to complete the question and then we are going to answer it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Uh, do, you, do, do we have to give a complete answer? No, nos vamos a ir corto y a la hora de hablar me la dan larga. Okay. Ahorita pueden escribir okay. solamente una palabrita, no problema. 
Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, first, who is responsible for supervising? Supervising the machine operators. Machine operators. Um, ¿Quién es responsable del machine operator? Um, quiero ver. Teacher, ¿me, ¿me puede compartir la pantalla otra vez? Si es tan amable. Um, supervisor. Supervisor. Uh, the floor manager. Uh, the supervisor, machine operator. Sería the supervisor. Uh -huh. Supervisor. I think. The supervisor. Hey, Supervisor, okay. The, the supervisor, okay. Teacher, uh, I, I want to uh, ask you something. What is the difference about the and the? Generalmente, se, lo que se ocupa es que depende de, de cuál es la palabra o la frase que sigue después. Es la que le jala la pronunciación. Okay. Uh, what about this? The supervisor or the supervisor? The supervisor. I will say the supervisor. Hay mucha the gente supervisor. que se va diciendo the, yeah. pero yo, yo prefiero decir the supervisor. The supervisor. Okay. Thanks. Uh, second one, who is in charge of uh, checking? Oh. Checking? Check. Checking. Um, checking the quality of the products. Quality, quality. de los productos. Um, yes, I'm sure. uh, uh, main, main and chief. Oh, no. Quiero ver, ah, no. Quality control inspector. Uh, it would be uh, auditor. Can I the chequea la calidad de los productos, entonces sería el, el que controla el inspector. Quality control inspector. Quality control inspector. Uh -huh. the, quality. Uh, the quality control inspector. Sí, the quality. Control inspector. Mm -hmm. Ya les dejo allí, Aristides, está habilitado para que puedan compartir pantalla. Okay, I'm gonna share. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm share screen. Oh, uh, sí. El auditor tendría que ser. El auditor, ¿verdad? Sí, auditor. Eh, bueno. El auditor. Uh -huh. Who is responsible uh, for repairing the problems of the machines? Vamos a ver. Maintenance chief. Is maintenance chief. Is um maintenance chief. Who is accountable for? Okay. Hello, yeah. teacher. The activities, uh, la actividad sería de hacer la pregunta y responderla o primero tenemos que armarlo. Completar las preguntas con el verbo que corresponde, que está ahí en paréntesis, in the ING form, y después viendo el organigrama tienen que responder esas preguntas. Okay, okay, o sea, que primero tenemos que armar tendríamos que armar primero la pregunta, ¿verdad? Completarla, solo completarla, porque armada ya está. Solo completar la pregunta y después y luego, responder, y luego responder con el organigrama. Exacto. Ah, porque, o sea, yo le había entendido que íbamos a, a, digamos, como armar la pregunta en el sentido de que who is the responsible for eh, supervises their... La pregunta their... ya está andada. Lo único uh -huh. que ustedes van a hacer es completarla con el verbo que esté en paréntesis. Así como los ejercicios que acabamos de hacer. Uh -huh. Ajá, ese es lo único que van a hacer ahí, completarla. 
y ahí tienen que ver cuál es la, la forma de la palabra que, que tiene que ir entero. Sí, porque esa era la, 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 la duda que tenía. Sí, porque ya, ya tienen... La pregunta ya está prácticamente. Ah, ya está, solo tienen que escribir el, el verbo. Por ejemplo, en la primera, la pregunta del verbo sería supervises. Eh, ver Ay, más sí. es. Ver Pero más es. es. Mm. Are you sure? Mm. ¿Cuál es Super la forma? Uh, por... ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo que hemos estado diciendo? ¿Cómo tiene que ir? Después de una preposición. Es supervising. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exacto. ING. Ajá. Por supervising. Supervising. Uh -huh. mm. Entonces, así tendríamos que hacerla, o sea, ponerle esa parte a la pregunta, ¿verdad? Completar las preguntas primero. Y después responderlas según el organigrama. Uh -huh. Ajá, pero la, la primera, lo que le está diciendo el compañero, es si está bien, lo hemos hecho así. Who is responsible resp 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 for supervisors? No. The machine? No. no. Recuerden, que la forma, recuerden que hemos estado diciendo toda la clase que después de una preposición usamos el verbo en ing. Mm -hmm. ¿Eh? Después de que si no hemos entendido, teacher. Estamos <risa> diciendo toda la tarde. Bueno, toda la noche. Después, <risa> y le, voy a volver, le voy a compartir la pantalla acá para que vean. Después, miren el cuadrito este. Después, Ajá. después de, de la ING, o después del verbo, plus, use a verb plus, vamos a escoger ING, after prepositions like for, of, To. Después de la preposición, vamos a ver acá en la conversation, checking, responsible for keeping, in charge of directing. Yes. He's, yes. Uh -huh. He's in charge of directing. So, siempre, 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 después de una preposición, vamos a usar el verbo en ING form. Entonces aquí ustedes tendrían que decir, eh, he, who is responsible for supervising. For supervising. For uh -huh. supervising. Uh -huh. Who is in charge of? Checking. Checking. Uh -huh. Y aquí van a poner la, el, la, 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 el puesto, ¿verdad? En esta parte de acá. Ejemplo, Ajá, pero, perdón, teacher, a ver, yo quiero entender porque no he entendido. Entonces, este es prácticamente solo agregar el verbo. En ING. Y, uh -huh. Ajá, ING. Sí. Pero, según lo que nos estaba explicando, el, espérenme, en ese mismo cuadrito donde dice, after preposition, like for, or, of. In es, que no sé, no, es que aquí, es que sí, yo no sé por qué se lo pusieron así, porque esto da lugar a confusión. Pero lo que ustedes tienen que hacer aquí es, no me quiere dar el lápiz. Ah, es que su máquina no. tiene vida propia. Es cuando le ponen así en paréntesis para que ustedes cojan una. No es que son mm. dos. Este definitivamente no. Para evitar confusión me gusta más así. <risa> Exacto. Ah, el asunto es que se lo pusieron y creo que le quedaba el espacio. Pues el espacio así para que ustedes escojan uno. No es de que los dos van a poder usar. Solo es uno. Y no, el no, uno no. es ING. 
Sí, no, puede, no pueden usar ese, no pueden usar verbo con ese y después proposición. ¿Verdad? O sea, o no pueden, ¿cómo le digo? Ay, quiero ver. Sí pueden usar el verbo con ese y después preposición, pero no pueden usar el verbo con ese después de una preposición. ¿Sí? Ajá. Ok, y, ajá. y la preposición sería for o of. ¿Se acuerdan que les puse otra? Por ejemplo, puede ser about, for, of, to, without, after. Ajá, entonces, before. exacto. Entonces, esa es mi pregunta. Aquí prácticamente ya están las preposiciones for, of, for, for. Sí. Ajá, sí. no, ah, ok. Es ahí donde yo tenía la duda. No, aquí yo andaba está. rebuscándome para agregarle. Uh -huh. No, en el ejercicio que les puse yo antes, ah, okay, sí, sí, ahí vamos no, a poner la preposición, pero aquí sí ya se las dan. Entonces, ya sabiendo que después de preposición vamos a... A utilizar el verbo en ING form. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exacto. Entonces, solo vamos a poner, por ejemplo, supervise, supervising, check, checking, prepare, preparing. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. And uh -huh. the answer is. He's in charge of checking. I uh -huh. He's in charge of checking the quality uh -huh. of the clothes. Uh -huh. Okay, y la respuesta de la pregunta sería en base al organigrama que tenemos. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Exacto. Por ejemplo, si decimos, who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Es el uh, supervisor. El supervisor. Sí. El uh -huh. supervisor. Aquí pueden poner una respuesta. Uh -huh. El supervisor. El su supervisor. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Super corta. El supervisor. Who is oh. in charge of checking the quality of the products? Quality of products is a auditor. The quality control inspector. Uh -huh. Sí, así es como lo van a poner. Va, pues oh, lo tengo otro ratito y hago el. Ok, teacher. Thank, thank you, you, teacher. Ok, yo voy acá. Ok, entonces este, eh, nos quedamos en la tercera, chicos. Sí, en la tercera. No Sería... Charles. Cargar. Who is in charge of assisting the assembler? Así. Ah, en the end, a uh, uh, 10 o'clock. Exactly. Hello, teacher. Hello, yeah, okay. we finish. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Es que por ahí se me había quedado un grupo que me había quedado trabado en, el, en lo del ING. Bueno, pero ahí sí me lo llevo. Me los, acá y solo a llevarme, lo vengo aquí donde estoy. Ah, gala. <laughs> we suppose that we always had ING in this exercise. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Always. Excellent. Coming, coming. Nice, nice. Vamos a checarlo acá con el manual, pero. A ver. So we have. Number one, 
who is responsible for supervising the machine operators, right? What about number two? Who is in charge? Of checking. Checking. Checking the quality of the products. Checking the quality of the products, very good. Number three, who is responsible for? Repairing. Repairing, repairing the problems of the machines. Mm -hmm. Number four, who is responsible for? Repairing. For? Selling. For selling the products, yeah. Selling the products. Number five, who is in charge of? Assistance, the assemblers. For assisting the assemblers for the kid. And the last one, who is accountable for? The, for manager. For managing. managing. A ver, now, Let's answer the questions. Who is responsible for, for supervising the machine operators? The supervisor is responsible for supervising the machine operators. Excellent. Yes. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the products? The quality control inspector is in charge of checking the quality of the products. The quality, okay. Uh, control I inspector. So. I think it's the auditor. Hmm? The auditor. Because the you're saying of, because you're saying of, who is in charge of? but of checking the quality of the products. And remember that in a company, you have the auditor that is watching you, how much money you are spending, but the quality control is like, hmm, viendo los acabados, si todo está bien, y si está tal cual debe, debe estar, según lo que se acordó como tenía que ser el product, right? It's, Por eso me inclino yo por el quality control inspector. Porque el, el auditor es más para andar corto a todo en la empresa. Ahí anda watching que todo, que todo se está usando eh, adecuadamente, que no se está malgastando el material, que no se está malgastando el dinero. Entonces, eso es lo que hace el auditor. Yeah. We made a mistake because we were working with us looking for the who is go, who's your responsible of not not for mm. uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. so you were thinking about who's responsible to yes mm -hmm. it was an... the, the quality control department is responsible to to the quality control inspector, right? Pero todos estos departamentos son respons responsible to the auditor también. A ver, who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Maintaining shifts. The maintenance, okay. The maintenance shift. Okay. Who is accountable teacher, for selling? Hola. Teacher, uh, what about the computer department? The problems of the machines. Yes. Vamos a ver, tenemos un computer department. Depende de qué machines hablemos. Oh. Uh -huh. Porque, por ejemplo, cuando, no, cuando nosotros nos dicen machines, pensamos rápido en computadoras, 
pero cuando se trata de una empresa, imagínense una empresa que... que industrial, que, machine, esa... Industrial. Es, Ajá, entonces es, tendría que ser el, el maintenance chief, el que está pendiente de que todas las, de todas las machines, de toda la empresa estén funcionando. ¿verdad? Yes. Porque okay, creo que ahí depende de qué, de qué tipo de machine estamos hablando. A ver, who's accountable for selling the products? The sales department. Mm -hmm. okay. Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Assemblers. But who is in charge of assisting them? The supervisor. Supervisor. Yeah. Uh -huh. Teacher, is this it is the same as the who is in charge of checking the quality of the products? Is not the same example? No, it's not the same because in the other one, uh, we're talking about the, who is going to check the quality of the control of the products. El inspector se va a encargar de la calidad de los productos. Pero aquí... I understand that, that the question, but the, um, the use of the preposition uh -huh. and the answer that we are going to, to give is my question. Mm -hmm. The situation here is that Si, le, si me dice de assemblers, es como que a quienes van a asistir a los assemblers, ellos solos, ¿verdad? Y el que los asiste o los hago ayudas, si tienen algún problema, sería el supervisor. Ya en este caso, porque no decía de, de checar al control inspector, sino que los productos, ¿verdad? La calidad de los productos, pero en este caso es de quien asiste a quién. Por eso es que la respuesta varía acá. ¿De quién es el que está a cargo de asistir a los asemblios? El supervisor. El supervisor, él es el que está a cargo de, de asistirlos o de ayudarlos. A ver, who is accountable for managing the whole operation? The general manager. The general manager, exacto. General manager. There we go. Vaya, ya hay tareas asignadas en el post para que ustedes completen y vamos a hacer una hoy. Dice que tiene que ver con lo que hemos estado trabajando ahora. Entonces, ustedes van a crear su propio organizational chat, así chiquito con lo que ustedes conocen de su empresa, ¿verdad? Yo lo haría así como que con lo que muy yo conozco. Eh, describe how your department relates to others. Ya les voy a, les voy a mostrar. Vaya, van a hacer un organizational chart, háganlo así chiquito, mañana les voy a dar tiempo para que lo compartan con sus compañeros y le cuenten cómo, cómo va, ¿verdad? Ese organizational chart y también van a, a responderles estas preguntitas. Estas son las preguntas que les he puesto en el post que corresponde a la clase de hoy, ¿verdad? What are you responsible for? Esto ya lo estuvimos respondiendo en clase. Who are you responsible to? ¿A quién le responde usted? How does your department relate to other departments? Pues, según el organigrama, ahí puede ver cómo se relaciona su departamento con otro. ¿Verdad? Entonces, estas son las tres preguntitas que van a responder allí en el... En el en el post. No sé si ya pudieron ver que hoy los posts están justo debajo del video de cada, de cada sesión. Por ejemplo, hoy si usted entra, está el video 
Está el video. Les aparece. No. no. Va, acá. Ahorita todavía no está, pero aquí va a ir el video de la sesión número 2. Y aquí está ahí al post, ¿verdad? Que es lo que van a responder usted. Y aquí está el espacio. Pero usted aquí escribe sus respuestas y le da su clic. El organigrama no lo van a poner acá. Ese me lo van a, lo van a compartir con sus compañeritos mañana. Las respuestas de las preguntitas son las que van a poner acá nada más. ¿Ok? Si sí se van al, a la clase número uno, aquí está la clase de ayer. Y aquí está el post. Aquí probablemente me diga, teacher, pero aquí ahí no hay nada. Te le clic encima. Y ahí está. Un Tesla. ¿Se acuerdan que hablábamos de la misión y la visión? Aquí, eh, you choose a company. Ay, no sé por qué se me volvió a poner junto a company. Choose a company. Eh, and write a mission and vision. Ya voy a sustituir este dibujito porque por más que lo corregí, mi compu dice que yo no pongo acento y que lo va a poner ella. <ríe> Entonces, mira, con acento. Entonces, ya le voy a sustituir el dibujo. Mañana pueden ya ustedes pasar a ir contestando estos dos cursos. ¿Ok? Bueno, si yo... Ay, no, les he pasado la última. Yeah, attendance. Sí, don't go. Please don't go. Vamos a ver, Ana, Ana Alicia. Present. Ángel. Ángel. Benjamín. Carlos. Carlos Hernández. Present. Teacher. Present. Carolina, teacher. Daniela María, present teacher, David Alexander, present teacher, Edwin, present, Grace, present teacher, ok, Aide de la Paz, present teacher, Isabel, present, Jonathan, Juan, Juan Antonio, Karen, presente, Marina, Marina Vanessa, Marlene, presente, excelente, Rosa Hilda, presente, Teresa de Jesús, presente, Walter, Yuri. Present teacher. Aristides. Present. Brenda. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Teresa del Carmen. Present teacher. Yancy. Ok, perfect. Ahí estamos. Bueno, see you. See you, See you another week. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. See you later. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Gracias, Isabel.